Hi all. In this video, we are discussing about angular measurements and construction and working of vernier dual protractor. Let's see the definition of an angle. Here, the angle is defined as the opening between two lines which meet at a point. So, if two lines are like this, if they are meeting at a point, so this gap is actually represented by the angle. This is the angle. Okay, if a circle is divided into 360 equal parts, then each path is called a degree. That is the definition of a degree. Each degree is further, we can subdivide it into 60 parts called minutes. And each minute is further subdivided into 60 parts called seconds. So, minutes are represented with uh, the symbol and seconds with uh, the symbol. And another unit of uh, angle is radian. So, that is defined as the angle subtended by an arc of a circle of length equal to the radius. So, that means uh, this one is the radius of the circle OA. So, this is R that is represented with R that is the radius and uh, uh, this is an arc if the length of the arc is equal to the radius that is r then this angle will be one radian that is the definition of radian then uh, we have we can find uh, the total radian of a circle how much radians are there in a circle a whole circle so we know that the whole circle uh, the perimeter of the circle is equal to 2 pi r okay and uh, one radian we know that one radian the arc length is equal to r so uh, how much to find how many radians are there in a the circle we have to divide this 2 pi r that is the perimeter of the circle with the, the arc of one radian that is r so r r get cancelled that is equal to 2 pi radians so a circle is equal to 2 pi radians and in degrees that is equal to 360 degree so otherwise we can tell that one degree is equal to 2 pi by 360 or otherwise pi by 180 radians These are the some angle measuring instruments uh, we are considering. First is vernier bevel protractor. Next is sign bar, sign center, angle gauges, spirit level, clinometer, and angle decker. We start with vernier bevel protractor. Vernier bevel protractor is a precision angular measuring instrument having an accuracy of 5 minutes. We can measure the angles within an accuracy of 5 minutes or otherwise 0 0.083 degrees. And in construction, it consists of a vernier scale, a protractor dial or otherwise we can tell that it is the main scale. So this one is the protractor dial, this is the protractor dial and uh, the small one is the vernier scale then a sliding blade this is the sliding blade then dial clamp nut center nut is the dial clamp nut so these are the important parts and uh, in protracted dial with, uh, it is uh, marked like this this is a 360 degree dial and uh, it is actually divided into four quarters of each of 90 degree. So if it is zero here, it will move from here to here, zero to 90 degree in this direction, that is the counterclockwise direction. And in the other side, it is the clockwise direction, zero to 90 degree. And from here, again, here it is the zero. So in this direction, it is a counterclockwise direction. It is zero to again 90 degree. And in this direction, so it is clockwise direction 0 to 90 degree uh, markings. So, this is the uh, way of marking on the protractor dial or main screen. 
here it shows the detailed diagram of a vernier bevel protractor and here we can see that extra portions or parts are also given that this one is known as a turret and this turret can be rotated okay it is rotatable okay and uh, this one is where well, this scale that is the main scale is actually fixed and turret is actually rotating and this in the rotating turret we are fixing the vernier scale so the vernier scale is also rotatable so it can be rotated either in clockwise or under clockwise direction and this portion is not stock and this is the actually the measuring phases of this uh, instrument and uh, another measuring phase is provided by the plate then uh, we can have one more attachment this one is an attachment okay and this attachment is known as acute angle attachment acute angle means the angle between 0 to 90 degree so if we wanted to measure an angle between 0 to 90 degree we have to go for acute angle attachment so we can see that this angle is a smaller angle so the object can be placed in this gap to measure the angle Next, we are considering the principle of vernier protractor. So, as we know, this is our main scale of vernier bevel protractor, and this is the vernier scale of this vernier protractor. And the principle of this vernier bevel protractor is that how we are constructed this vernier scale. So, there is a theory behind construction of this vernier scale. So, I will state that theory that is 23 main scale divisions MST are equally divided into divided into Tall vernier scale divisions. Okay, this is the statement which is showing how we are realized this vernier scale. Okay, so based on this one, uh, we needed to uh, find the least count of this instrument, how we are. Uh, Telling that the least count of the instrument is 5D, 5 minutes. So we know that 12 VST is equal to 23 MST. And we know that 1 MST is equal to 1 DT. So 12 VST is equal to 23 degrees. If it is so, uh, we can find 1 VST is equal to 23 divided by 12 degrees. We can convert this one into minutes that is 23 divided by 12 into 60 minutes. Okay, so that is equal to the answer will be 115 minutes. So we know that 1 VST is equal to 115 minutes. And we know that uh, 1 VST is nearly equal to 2 degrees. 2 degrees is 120 minutes. So here it is nearly equal to 2 MSTs. So for least count, the equation for vernier bevel protractor, the least count equation is equal to 2 MST minus 1 VST. And we know that 1 MST is equal to 1 degree or otherwise 60 minutes so 2 MST is equal to 120 minutes minus 1 VSD already uh, given it is 115 minutes so the difference is 5 minutes that is our least count this is the principle of the vernier bevel protractor here we are discussing how to read a vernier bevel protractor so uh, this picture shows the reading condition of uh, the scales, the main scale and vernier scale, while uh, we are taking 
a particular angular measurement. So the first step is to find what is the main scale for reading. For the main scale reading, note the number of whole degrees between 0 on main scale and 0 on vernier scale. So here the 0 of main scale is here and the 0 of vernier scale is here. So we have to measure the all degrees in between these two. So here we know that this 50 is the all degree in between the two zeros. So 50 is our main scale reading in this condition. So that is marked like this. So it is the 50. Next we have to find which is the vernier scale reading. So the procedure for vernier scale reading is that we have to proceed in the same direction. So first uh, we have to proceed in this direction that is the counter clockwise direction. So in the same fashion, we have to go for the same direction that is in the counterclockwise direction in this direction. So in this direction, the scale we need to consider is the left side scale because we have got two vernier scales on the two sides of the zero. Both are same, uh, but when we are moving counterclockwise, we have to consider the left side scale. When we are moving in the clockwise direction of the main scale reading, we have to consider the right side at uh, least uh, one year scale, right side one year scale. That is the rule. So here it is moving counterclockwise direction. So we are actually taking the left side of the one year scale. Okay. So this scale is considered. And the same direction, not which vernier line coincides with the main scale line. So it is uh, given here with uh, these stars. Okay, you can see the stars over here, and uh, it is showing that is the fourth division is actually coinciding. This is the fourth division from the zero, one, two, three, and four. That is actually given us stars, and we have to note down that one. That is our vernier scale reading. And next step is that uh, we have to multiply number by 5 degree 5 minutes and add it to degrees in protracted time or main scale reading this 5 minutes is our least count so this is our main scale reading this 4 is our vernier scale reading and it is multiplied with the 5 minutes that is the least count and the answer is 20 minutes so our final measurement should be measurement is equal to msr plus bsr into lc so msr we know it is 50 degrees plus bsr into lc it is 20 minutes so it is the reading the final reading will be 50 degree 20 minutes this is the procedure of how to can uh, take the reading of a vernier given protractor. So by this we discussed about the construction working at the reading of a vernier given protractor. Thank you for watching.